so hello everyone and i welcome you all to this short and simple tutorial and in this uh, video i'll be discussing about uh, like using a uh, puppeteer in serverless platforms like you know vercel and aws lambda so this video is pretty short because it is just an extension of my uh, like the blog that i have written so this is my blog and i'm just trying to extend this uh, as a video because you know for getting better reach and for solving uh, like problems for other people who cannot just find my blog so like uh, my primary objective was to convert html to pdf as you can see so what happened uh, during that you know i was using uh, puppeteer and it was it was working fine you know when i was developing in my local computer uh, right and the moment i pushed it into the server Mm, it wasn't working right so i was getting uh, different sorts of issues right uh, this was the other other issues and these are the issues that i have taken from the internet and i was not getting this issue particularly but i was getting something similar and it wasn't able to uh, you know run properly so that was the problem that i encountered and then i got to know about the problem that it started with you know versal and serverless architecture so they have their own cons and pros but i'm not going to discuss about that right Right now uh, currently we are focused on uh, how to you know use puppeteer so essentially what uh, uh, what puppeteer is like you know kind of it offers automation with using the browser right so that was uh, uh, that was my goal so see if you can if you can see the code so what uh, initially what i was doing was doing just this part and uh, you know passing the pdf and then yeah so this was my api uh, there are some processing logic uh, not here because you know that would make it redundant uh, but for the purpose i'm just telling you that uh, this was my code uh, beforehand like uh, like this else clause wasn't there but uh, slowly when i uh, learned about it you know they kind of uh, removed the thread uh, this is uh, like there was a thread on uh, you know uh, versal uh, versal so they kind of uh, removed it i don't know why uh, like few days ago it was there but uh, right now i cannot find it so nonetheless uh, there was the discussion about uh, the whole thing that uh, how people are solving it and how they are using so uh, mostly people were settling uh, on uh, something like you know a uh, puppeteer old version and a uh, uh, specific version of chrome or like you know somebody this guy the spartacus or whatever the name is I, if i am pronouncing it wrong I'm, i apologize so i i was uh, uh, like uh, you know i also visited this and uh, this was the kind of uh, thing that you have to use uh, you know in in order to use it in vercel uh, so this was uh, pretty good actually most of the tutorials you will find they were using this one only playwright or puppeteer whatever but uh, uh this uh the developer has made it uh like you know deprecated this and uh, uh like uh give an alternative that he developed himself as you can see already so i i favored to use that only so this is the okay again uh, this is the version that i was uh, using so uh you know if you use something like this uh it would work you know again in the uh, like how can i say it again it will work in the development mode like in your local computer but the moment you try to use it in uh, vercel it again tries to you know it again fails so that was the case uh, i was encountering it again and again so i again uh, pondered upon this uh, here he, he had mentioned something like uh, chrome min uh, i think yeah this is the chrome min that i was talking about this is the uh minimum package and uh, this version what happens is that uh, uh this comes with you know uh smaller sizes and again when i uh, start tried to use this one also again i got some issues uh, uh this one this was the issue that i was getting uh, again and again so i could not figure out what is the issue so uh, like this is the article that kind of saved uh, you know my lot of time and uh, like you know effort so this guy kind of figured out how to actually use it so i uh, followed uh, this one but this was a little bit old as it was using you know a uh, require uh, rather than the import one so that it wasn't quite compatible but yeah it was a pretty good solution for the time that it art this article was released so this was pretty good so uh, like what you have to essentially do is use the chromium min uh, and supply the binary separately using a cdn or a, you know s3 bucket so uh, like if you don't have your s3 bucket so you can what you can do is you know use the github's cdn where you know this guy 
the he publishes the packages right so you just have to go to the releases and uh, you need to find the release that you need to use right and uh, based on that you know this uh, i think yeah you have to supply this star file so you can see the url in the bottom so you can just you know uh, copy the link address and uh, supply it to that into the code that would uh, do the job for you so let me show you my code where i have done the same thing what i'm saying is uh, so here you can see i have supplied the uh, the binary path you know uh, this one executable path and uh, this is the same version that i was showing you right now so uh, you have to pass it like this and basically uh, a very short answer is that you just you use this code and you will be uh, good to go and you can customize it uh, based on your requirements so that was that was what i'm doing and if you want to sh see it in action you can just uh, go to my uh, track jobs the project where i for which I was implementing this. So this is a uh, all in one, uh, you know, uh, this is kind of a promotion kind of thing, but it is my project only. So essentially what you would, uh, essentially I'm kind of trying to build a resume uh, builder and a job tracker, right? Using the Chrome extension. So this is the extension, uh, right? You can download it from uh, Google Chrome store. I will give the link in the description. And based on that, when you go to a LinkedIn page, uh, for example, any job uh, randomly, uh, I will uh, I will show you something right for example this is not uh, accepting a response so if I take this one so what I can do is just I can uh, add this job right you know uh, for example I applied to this and if I click on track job so it will add it to my dashboard yeah so it is saved right now right and if I refresh my dashboard so uh, as you can see this is the like application and it kind of use uh, uh, behind the scenes api is right uh, you know gemini or chat gpt and uh, it kind of gives you the job description for you and you can optimize the resume for you uh, like you can create your resume from here uh, this will be your manual resume right what you, whatever you can fill and you can create your custom section also and uh, based on that okay just let's quickly show you the part where i'm using the html2 uh, pdf so the resume is generated as html uh, behind the scenes using some optimizations or other and uh, and then when you can just when you just press the download so behind the scenes it launched the puppeteer uh, chromium headless and uh, just generate on the runtime and uh, give you and yeah so as you can see this is my resume so i hope you like this uh i think i'll try to make this video as short as possible so i, I hope you like this video and i'll see you in the next one uh bye, -bye.